They came from across this vast country, trade unionists, neighbourhood and youth groups and feminist organisations, often disagreeing on many things, but united at this annual gathering under the banner of Peronism, the most powerful political movement in Argentina. Poverty and unemployment are high, inflation is rampant and the country weighed down by foreign debt. The government struggled in last month's primary elections and faces crucial congressional elections in November. The Peronist movement, which both backs and criticises the government, says it has the answers. We've got a Peronist government. We should probably criticise more since some of their proposals are not working. We need to generate enough power to make sure the right policies are adopted because just talking is not enough. The Peronist movement has always encompassed a range of ideas, from left to right. The objective is always that Argentina is better when united. Peronism was born in the mid-1940s with the rise to prominence of the then employment secretary Juan Domingo Perón. He went on to become president three times, backed by his charismatic second wife, Evita. They've both been dead for a long time, but the movement that bears their name lives on. The current government, led by President Alberto Fernandez, calls itself Peronist. We, the Peronists, don't govern just for the Peronists. We believe in government for all the people. If a Peronist government looks like it's doing something wrong, here we are, asking the President for more Peronism. It's a tense, complicated moment. We're coming out of two pandemics, the one left by the previous government and the one that affected the whole world. But we know the strength of the people in the street. Peronism needs this to mobilise again. If we mobilise again to build, to acquire new rights, we'll have a fairer country. Peronism is difficult to define. It means different things to different people. Millions here revere it as a unifying force that fights for working people. Others despise it, calling it populist and corrupt. It's embroiled in a constant debate over its political relevance and does still remain a powerful and influential movement. It's also a movement that does a lot of its talking on the streets. This year's rallies as colourful and noisy as they've ever been. These crowds will return to all corners of Argentina, their movement revitalised, hoping the government is listening and better able to confront the many problems it needs to tackle. Daniel Schweimler, Al Jazeera, Buenos Aires.